Guys, I'm literally about to bust my boyfriend. Chance! Ah, it was porn. Drag race without me, really? Don't be mad. Well, I'm not. But you also want to be this. But you also want to be this. Do you ever just wear a simple outfit, but you don't think it's gay enough, so you just gay, gay, Look me in the eyes right now and tell me that. Tell me that to my face right now. Oh my god, for the last time, I'm not bisexual. I just I just don't believe you. Look at yourself. What does what does that even mean? Just look at what you're wearing! Hey, okay, here's the fit. Very normal looking fit, right? Yes, you're absolutely right. It is a normal outfit. For a bisexual. That's literally not how it works. It's official. You're bi. You don't just get to decide that. No, 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 I'm manifesting it because you refuse to admit it. Do you think that if I had the choice, I would choose to be straight? Oh my God, why would you say that word? Because that's what I am, unfortunately. That's why you have to manifest that you're bi. But I'm not bi, I like men. <gasps> but women are pretty. I know they are. I think women are beautiful, but I'm just not sexually or romantically attracted to them. You're just not trying hard enough. That's not how it worked! Oh my god, this Elliot Page news is everywhere. Is he a known actor? I mean, yeah, they were in Juno and that was a really big movie. Wait, what are his pronouns? Or, or their pronouns? He, they. Oh, okay. It was literally that simple for her and she is an Indian immigrant in her 50s. Like, what is your excuse? Netflix be like, are you still watching? Me and somebody's non-binary is like... Do you mind if we change it, actually? Because uh, I love Supernatural just as much as the next person, but it sounded like for a second there that you moaned um, Sam. And, uh, you know, that's... My name's E, so it's a little... It's Sherlock? You know what? Sure... That feels worse, actually. Uh... I am bisexual, but I am attracted to each gender in a different way and try to capture the feeling of loving women versus loving men. You're a permanent virgin like me. Your sexual orientation feels a lot like a Hogwarts house in that it's based on a huge hypothetical. Like, I guess. <laughs> if Hogwarts existed, I would be a Hufflepuff. And I guess if anyone wanted to touch me, I would be bisexual. <laughs> Don't choose to be a virgin actually what happens is the great lady artemis goddess of the hunt points <laughs> you from the heavens and says you you will cry every time a man touches you <laughs> okay well it seems like we've made everybody a flag except for the heteros yeah the heteros yeah the straights want a flag too but the straights didn't fight for so we're gonna make them a flag anyways but for what? It's gonna be black, then white, then black, then white, then black, then white. That, that's, that's the same colors of a prison uniform. Shh, they'll never know the difference. Oh, actually, I'm gender fluid. Oh, okay. Wait, what does gender fluid mean again? Gender fluid means my gender changes depending on the day or week or even depending on the hour. It also means the pronouns I'm comfortable with can change, too. Oh, so how do I know what pronouns to use for you and other gender fluid people? Um, we all express them differently, but personally I express them through color-coded bracelets. Pink means she, her, 
yellow means they them, and blue means he him. And if I'm comfortable with this more than one pronoun, I will combine them. Oh, okay, so today's a she they day? You got it. Okay, um, I'll keep that in mind. As a passing trans person, I have become so weirdly accustomed to having normal average interactions with men in public while being simultaneously aware that they would shoot me with a 12 gauge if they knew that I was trans. And it creates the most ironic interactions. Like one time I was walking out of the gas station, obviously wearing my mask, and this dude from afar shouts, FUCK THE MASK! So I look over, and this dude is wearing an American flag muscle tee and a camo hat, so obviously I'm like, this dude is a homophobe, he thinks I'm a lesbian, and I'm about to be hate crime next to the gas pump. But my social anxiety is like, Sasha, you have to respond. So I'm like, no, what do you, what, what do you mean? And the dude is like, I mean, these things are the worst, right? People are crazy, you know, fuck the mask. And so I'm like, this dude thinks we're on the same page. So I'm like, oh, oh, I don't know. I mean, blah, blah. And he goes, fuck the mask. You want to know why? So I'm like, why? And he goes, because we're living in a man's world. I was like, sir, you do not even know what world we are living on right now. We are in two separate realities. But did I say that? No, I said, hell yeah, we are. And I got in my car and I fucking left because I was not about to be hate crimed at the gas station. It's, it's the way that... Jonathan Groff is gay, and Darren Chris is straight. It just, it's a little bit wrong. Like, it's fine, but it just, it, there's something that's a little wrong. If you see a flaw, squint. If you see a bulge, don't be mad. Some of the most beautiful women in the world have gigantic penises. If you see something you don't like, something unseemly or offensive, Abby, look at that guy yes. over there. I think he's a little. No. There's no way. Do you look at the way his legs are crossed? He just talked imaginary hair behind his ear. We we have to go talk to him. Hi. 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 I'm Meredith. This is Abigail. What's your name? Wesley Taylor. Lovely. Um, are you by chance? What? But we've never asked someone this before. I, um, okay. Ask someone. Um, um, okay. Let's say you're Yankee Doodle, right? When you go to town, what kind of pony are you riding on? How dandy are you? Are you a gay? Gay and merry are we mm. on this the Lord's day Preach. in his Praise home him. full of his children. Bless Amen. the Lord Almighty. You. You've got the wrong idea. No, no, you don't understand. Like, we're... Anyway, back oh. to us. Oh my God. Yes. yes. How did you know? People just don't know how to utilize their hands. Have you always come Nothing. to this well, church? Well, no, but there's the sort of this guy so, sitting right over the there. Don't be obvious. Jesus oh. fucking Christ. Malachi? Yes. So what a delicious little. Okay, we have to. We have to do. Uh, I would love that. Oh my god. Amen. Oh so we all know like the non-binary trope of having like an inanimate object for your name, like rock or dirt, which great, love it, perfect. So I already changed my name like, legally, so I can't pick a new one, which is probably a good thing because my friends tell me that if I had tried to name myself Mushroom, they never would have taken me seriously. Like, Mushroom would be a really cool name. The, the nickname Shroomy is right there. Sleeping with me would have been called Doing Shrooms. I think that that was a clever idea, but oh no, I already changed my name. Like, don't get me wrong. I love my name. My name is great. Uh, it's a space pun with my first and middle name. You know, you can't get any better than that. Perfectly fits my design brand. But it's not Shroomy. My name's not Mushroom. And I think I'll always be a little bit sad about that. Do you ever just wear a simple outfit, but you don't think it's gay enough, so you just- Gay. Gay. What you mean you're mostly gay? I mean that I would drown in a bucket of the tears that Blake Lively cried from all the pleasure that I brought her, but like, Ryan Reynolds could watch me die. You told mama yet? Yes, I did. She said I'm grown, so whatever. Bet you Meemaw's not happy. Let's ask her. Hey, Meemaw! You mad that I'm a big old lesbian? You still be a lesbian and walk down to the gas station and buy my cigarette since your whole mother won't let me smoke? Yes, ma'am. Then no, I ain't mad. See? What's wrong, Kyle? Uh, we're twins, so if you're a lesbian, then does that make me a- You're not a lesbian, Kyle. What if I'm gay? I don't think I'm gay. I don't know. Remember that time you said you'd make love to Tom Brady? That don't count. All of God's green earth would make love to Tom Brady. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're mostly straight. Like, I'm mostly gay.
Hey, excuse me. Yeah? Oh, I just wanted to say I really like your style. Asking my family yes, what their pronouns sir. are. I was wondering if you could play that song again. This is gonna be a yay. Wish me luck. What are your pronouns? Great. Yo. What are your pronouns? Huh? What are your pronouns? What are my pronouns? Yeah, what's your pronouns? Uh, I'm a guy, so he. Okay. Yo, what are your pronouns? What? What are your pronouns? Who? Great answer. Where? Awesome. Hey, what are your pronouns? Mom. Okay, great. What are your pronouns? Uh, his, her, his, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs>A few years ago, I had the thought, what if I'm gay? I'm freaking out, I'm 18, I call my dad, which isn't me bragging, we talk like twice a year, and I said, listen, I think I might be gay, what do you think? And he said, it's great if you are, know that I love you either way. And I said, I'm not questioning your love, I'm questioning my sexuality. I don't need you to finally be a good parent, I need you to be an observant one. And he said, well, have you tested it out? I said, this was my test. Your response is my litmus. And I thought there'd be a little more disbelief from you. So I hang up the phone. Within minutes, I get a text from my mom who's still divorced from my father, but I'm glad that they found time to discuss outing me. And she says, I love you with all my heart, no matter who you are. And the sentiment is sweet, but she needs to draw the line somewhere. I don't love her no matter who she is. What was your first gay panic? Fan-made videos. Fan-made videos. Here's how smart <laughs> for gay entertainment gay people are. They will be watching Sherlock. They, like, take one shot of his hand touching, I don't know, some dead man's body, literally. And then they'll intermix it with another shot of, like, some porn of a gay man orgasming. And they'll be like, wouldn't this be a great show? And then four million gay children watch that. And they're like, yes, I need this in my life. We were fucking open who are you hiding it from bro and he's like no no, no but for real how did you know i was like uh, honestly kid you could fucking tell bro and he's like what do you mean what do you mean and he started going off he's like oh you're just like propagating heteronormative stereotypes blah, blah, blah. like <laughs> he wouldn't leave his porn open <laughs> he never closes it it's just be fucking dicks everywhere and i couldn't tell him i couldn't tell him it was open still <laughs> because then i'd push him out of the closet so i just pretended i didn't see it the whole time <laughs>